My name is Brandon Parker and today we are going to have an introduction to RTI's integration designer software uh, version 7.1.0. Uh, the first thing you'll do after it is downloaded and installed is uh, open it up. Uh, while it's loading I will remind you that integration designer is a dealer only program and access to it is limited to dealers only. Once it's opened up, you'll see your uh, general workspace. Um, if you look to the left, you'll see system workspace. To the right, library browser. If you go to the bottom of library browser, you'll see IR, RS-232, drivers, objects, and bitmaps. For the demonstration purposes, I will keep it simple and we will cover just infrared. So we're going to go ahead and create a new system, file new, name your system, we will name it Parker, save, and we are able to add devices, wireless controls, in wall controls, control processor. Choose your controller, I'm going to choose T1B, and enter a name for the device. Here's where you can name it master bedroom, media room, living room, or whatever suits you. Hit OK. And the controller pulls up. As you can see to the left of the screen, the master bedroom is in the system workspace. And it has a little green dot, which means that is what we're currently working with. Now what you see here is the... Uh, the remote control and our sources. You can right click or double click edit page title and at this point we can choose what the sources are. We do satellite cable Blu-ray and so on. So once you have your sources selected you'll simply come over to the library browser select the remote and your remote library will pop up and since we're going to be controlling the satellite, we'll assume that we have a direct TV satellite box. Let's choose this one. Now once you have your um, source pulled up here in the right, you have all of your commands. If you look to the top, you may see assign numbers automatically. If you hold and drag and release over the numbers it will put them all on there for you so you don't have to drag them one by one at this point you can go uh, from from command to command and dragging them over um, exit to exit and info to info if you need to uh, set up a macros you would just hover over a uh, button the button uh, would have to allow you to set a macros to that select it by clicking on it or right click and then hit create macro either one you have different command types that you can put in your macros uh, IR code 
from library, IO code from page, time delay, button test, and so on. But for this demonstration, we'll just use IO, IR code from library. Select me remote. And here's one of the nice things about uh, RTI. Once you uh, have already used a specific remote in a system, that remote will be at the top. It'll always come at the top and be highlighted in red. So since we've already used that, we'll select it again. We'll issue a power command for Direct TV. We'll assume that this system has a Samsung television. So we will type Samsung, scroll down to television. Um, we will look for a discrete command, uh, power on, and hit OK. And that's how you set up a macros uh, for the RTI system on the remote control. Okay, this, uh, this concludes the introduction to uh, RTI's Integration Designer. Um, now you've seen the software. It is easy to use. Uh, the learning curve is, is uh, it's, not too, it's not too bad. Um, so look out for more videos, more educational tutorials on uh, Integration Designer, and we'll get a little more in-depth.